Hello everybody, welcome back to the video where today I will be doing the planned shadow video but with a bit of a twist than what I originally imagined. Today I'm going to be looking at Jax's Sonic and Shadow figures in celebration of Sonic X Shadow Generations and seeing who gets treated better in their uh, plastic forms from Jax. So yeah, um, I have pretty much every Shadow figure, pretty much every Sonic figure. Uh, released from Jax. Uh, off to the side here, of course I am missing uh, the Super Shadows and the new Super Sonic from Wave 2 of the movie figures, but um, yeah, just going off of what we have, I was gonna, gonna take a look and see who gets the better treatment. Alright, so starting off here, I'm just going to of course do the regular modern figures. Now, this might be a little unfair because while Shadow only has one modern figure where he's not in a super form, I'm going to treat the super forms as separate entities. So, um, this is just its own thing. The super forms don't count into modern Sonic's figures, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, so modern Sonic himself, though, has three different figures. Here I have the first modern Sonic I ever got way back on the channel. Here I have the angry one, and, oh shoot, I didn't bring him with. Somehow I forgot to grab him, but uh, we also have modern Sonic with just the regular smirk. So that's three different Sonics to one shadow. And the quality on these guys, um, it's great. And of course, shadow's quality is amazing too. So, honestly, it's hard to say which, uh, which one gets better, or like which is better, the Sonic figures or the Shadow figure, because if I'm being honest, this guy isn't great. Um, I think his eyes look really weird, the face like that they chose is really weird. So this Shadow just automatically beats him, just in terms of quality. So that really leaves us with Angry Sonic, which there's nothing wrong with him, of course. He's pretty cool looking. And our, oh, maybe if he'll stand, we'll see. Oh, he's falling over. And our regular smirking Sonic. But honestly, I don't know. I feel like my, I do have a gripe with Shadow that I don't really have with the others, and it's his skin color. Um, he's like orange almost, instead of like a darker tan like they did with uh, Prime Shadow. I like how they did his skin here. That's a good color. I feel like he's just orange. Like, this is almost the same shade of paint they used with, like, Tails' fur for his skin. So I feel like that kind of drags the figure down a little bit. So for the modern 4-inch figures for their base forms, and my dog's going to make a huge ruckus right now as I'm in the middle of recording, but I do think that Jack Pacific um, Sonic does have the better figures because the skin tones, I mean, he has different skin on the belly compared to face and arms, but... I don't know, I think that the skin tone just looks way better on this guy. So, I think that Sonic beats Shadow in the 4-inch modern figure uh, bracket here, I guess, if that's what I want to call it. I don't know how to describe it, but I think that Jack Specific Sonic figures are better than Shadow figure, the one Shadow figure in the 4-inch line. Now, as I said, I'm going to be treating the super uh, characters as, like, a different entity almost. So, when it comes to Super Sonic versus Super Shadow, which I'll, with the magic of editing, put in here. I have seen videos on Super Shadow, and I have seen how he looks. And, once again, Sonic is going to get the W here, because, I mean, Shadow, if you look at him, uh, Super Shadow. Uh, no, again, I'll hopefully remember to put a picture up here. He is, um, not the right color. I'm just going to say that he is way too dark of a yellow. In the games, he is like a bright gold almost. Um, and the Super Shadow figure we got is pretty much the same shade as the Super Sonic. It really doesn't work. Um, other than that, he's pretty all right. But I don't know. This, this figure is fully accurate, whereas the other one picture here, hopefully, um, really just isn't accurate. Uh to the source material, 
and we haven't gotten another Super Shadow yet. We do have the Shiny Super Sonic. Hold on. Yeah, as I was saying, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. As I was saying, um, we do get like the Shiny Super Sonic and the regular one. Both of the, actually, I haven't seen any online listing for this guy like ever in a while. But this one um, is still decently accessible. I mean, he's $40. 30 to 40 dollars super shadow is 80 dollars so okay so yeah apparently now he's like 200 dollars i think it's safe to say that sonic win super sonic wins uh, against super shadow all right up next we're going to be looking at the 2.5 inch figures which sonic gets so many poses and they're all really cool i just like this one this is the only pose i'll ever get honestly i mean i do have the um figure eight running one too but this this one is just i don't know i really like this one but he has the shrugging one he has what else he just has a lot of poses man um shadow again only has this pose but shadow does have the correct skin color almost on uh, i don't know now that i'm looking at it let's let's compare no it's definitely it doesn't look like it on camera on camera they look about the same in person, this is almost a fleshier, like, not Sonic-like, but it's still brighter and more of a skin tone, not as orange. So, I feel like that the shadow, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't, I don't think, beat out all the poses that Sonic comes with, all the versatility of Sonic. Which, it is odd that Sonic gets all these poses, Tails gets actually uh, a couple poses, and Shadow really only gets this one, even though he's, like, the second most popular character. I think that they should give Shadow some more stuff. Um, I don't know. But, yeah. So, Sonic here, though, definitely gets the better treatment. I feel like, again, the skin, this time the skin is all the same color. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Sonic, I think, once again has to win in the 2.5-inch line as well. All right, up next is going to be uh, Super Sonic uh, and Super Shadow. Again, image here. Really expensive to get them. And he suffers the same fate as Super Shadow in the 4-inch uh, la line. He's the same really bright uh, color. Or not really bright. Uh, same dark shade of yellow as Super Sonic here. However, from the images I've seen... His body is, for the most part, a consistent color. I also think that we've only gotten supersonic, um, one supersonic in the 2.5 inch line, modern supersonic, that is. And, yeah, I mean, this one's more accurate, but I did, I mean, as you can see here, this has a bit more of a hollow thing. This one, like, his foot goes more down, it's more of an indent here. This side is not. That's because that is super glue because I dropped him on the floor and his foot shattered off. So the quality is all right. It's weird that this is so dark on the front and glossy compared to every other part of his body. So I don't know. I, I do like this figure, but I think that and maybe if I got him in hand, it'd be different. But I think that they're about the same uh, because the shadow doesn't look so weird in all the images I've seen. Um, and from the videos, like when Sonic and the Bean Show pulls him out or something, he doesn't look so weird compared to this guy who, well, he doesn't look that weird. He definitely has his flaws. So I'm probably going to say a tie here. All right. Now, right about here is where um, I'd say is going to be the turning point for Shadow almost because we're going to take a look at the Prime figures. And as you can see, I have the Wave 1 New York and then Wave whatever 3, 2 or 3, Boz Cage, Sonic here. And when it comes to the Prime figures, I was never really able to, like, I don't know, I didn't really mess with the Sonic figures that much. Um, whereas Shadow, I bought two of them. So I wouldn't, I mean, clearly there's also the prism the grim sonic i think that's out now he's in stores i've seen him all the time and i just haven't bought him because i don't like the way he looks and this shadow i 
bought him once in GameStop. I saw him at Target, like, for the first time in forever, and I was like, oh, that's cool, and I bought him again. I wouldn't buy another... I wouldn't buy a duplicate of these. So that just goes to show how amazing they did the shadow. I really like the way that the quills look on him and the way his chest fur looks and really just everything about him. He is super accurate to the show and that's already better than I can say for the Sonics. Um, I mean, just look at all the detail they have crammed into his shoes and stuff. This shadow is probably my definitive like modern shadow in general. He looks really great even for the games, so there's that. Whereas looking at, I mean, first off this, he's purple. He's pretty much purple. I mean, this is, this is crazy. I mean, his skin's almost yellow and his fur is almost purple. And the bright radioactive green for his eyes with the huge um, white marks in there that honestly the black even shows through. Yeah, this guy kind of sucks. This one is better, but I feel like they did his blue almost too dark, and again, a little purpley. Um, I don't know, I think that this is the representation of, like, the perfect shade of blue. And yeah, this clearly is darker. My dog's gonna walk through again. Sorry about that. Anyways, as I was saying, um, he clearly is just way darker, which makes it, I don't know. The way his skin is so bright compared to his dark fur just really makes the figure look weird to me. I don't know. I like this one way better than the um, New York disaster, but still, he kind of looks off. Like, his skin just pops way too much compared to this one, where it's like, it all looks natural. This pops a lot, and the eye choice, like the color of the eyes is still a little bright for my liking. I would have preferred a darker green. So I think the colors are just a bit of a mess on him. Um, not nearly as much as this one. And the articulation on this guy too, I mean. it's He's just all over the place, man. I'm not a fan of this figure. Uh, articulation on this guy, however, is a lot better. Um, you know, better looking, I guess. So you can get a lot more poses out of him than this one. But still... I mean, his legs almost look a different color than the rest of his body, too. So, um, Shadow didn't have that issue. And I think that this Shadow is just not only a really good Shadow figure, but I think he's the best, like, modern Shadow depiction that we have in figure form. He is quite literally the ultimate life form of figures, Shadow figures, to be specific, if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is Shadow wins in the 5-inch Prime by a long shot. He is just supreme. All right, and here we have our 2.5-inch movie figures. Just reposition my camera there a little better. Um, yeah, so again, and maybe it's because of the hype of the movie, but I think that Shadow wins this too. Because um, this figure, as I mentioned in my uh, other like Sonic Movie 2 versus Movie 3 uh, video, which really popped off. That has like over 20,000 views now, so thanks for that. Anyways, so for one, this thing has always bothered me. And for like second, he looks kind of lifeless almost, which I mentioned in the other video. So this figure automatically way gets like destroyed by the shadow. I mean, the quality just from Jax has improved a lot more too, so... I don't think that this one even stands a chance. Just the way in that the, they look. Oof, I'm, words are hard. Um, I mean, Shadow even has the gradient the between black to flesh tone, I guess. Um, which this Sonic doesn't. I think his face is a little basic. Um, and not to say that, I mean, this is just a frown, you know, on Shadow. But the way his eyes look and, I don't know, he looks a lot. He looks angry. This Sonic, I can't tell if he's... He just kind of looks determined is the best way to describe this, but I don't know. His face always have, has looked kind of off to me for the movie figures. And this one is a very odd choice of face for him. I do like it a lot, though. Um, man, I don't even know between these two. I'm still going to have to say... I mean, they did add, again, the bridge there between the blue and the flesh. They add the blend. Other than that, this figure is great and all, but 
something about just shadow it, also like just looking at the shoes of them too just the amount of detail and stuff in the uh there we go in shadow's shoes and all that i don't know i think shadow just stands out so much more and i think he just looks better as i mean in figure form and almost for the movie looks too like in con like designs i guess because movie sonic and I know I'm gonna, it's an age-old thing, but, like, the blue arms, and I'm not, because seeing movie Sonic with flesh arms still doesn't look right, but I don't know, this looks game accurate, um, even with the movie design, like, way more, and I don't know, he just pops a lot more, and I really like this figure, and I really like this one, too, but I think Shadow, just in quality and design, just kind of wins, he just kind of looks better. All right, up next we have Shadow versus our Sonics here. And, man, this one's hard because I have I think that they both look great. And in terms of, like, I don't know. The detail is outstanding on both of them. Articulation on both of these characters is amazing. And, of course, this is the version without the lighting, so it's going to have the butterfly joints. He has butterfly joints in the figure that doesn't have lighting too. So, you know, there's that. I'm not really going to count that against him. So, I don't know. And again, maybe it's just glazing because of the hype of the movie. But Shadow just looks sick in his movie design. And Sonic, and maybe it's because I've seen him for a while and I've gotten used to seeing him in a movie design compared to Shadow. But I don't know. Shadow's design just does it way more for me. Plus the light Sonic here. Um... His face is all right. I think it reminds me a lot of the Sonic movie 2, which I said before, but this is crazy. This is insane. He lights up like insane amounts. Shadow, I like his lighting more. It's a lot I'm almost subtler. Um, you can definitely tell it's flashing, but this could this lights up the room. This just makes him look cool. But yeah, when you're when his entire head is glowing blue, it just takes away i think from the looks of it so i i don't know like this looks weird this looks good and this looks good this one really only looks good with uh lights off and even then this is such an odd thing it blends in a lot better with shadow and we'll see that when he stops lighting up so i think that with the light up figures he definitely beats sonic but I'm honestly stumped between these two. And yeah, here's that. It looks a lot more natural compared to the dark blue on Sonic. Which even this Sonic has. And I don't know. I just think that that looks weird. So that might even be the edge that Shadow needs to push over. Because, I don't know, everything else looks great. I mean, of course, the shoes look amazing. Detail on that. Articulation's great. Facial expression they chose, I like that a lot better. And I know it's almost the same facial expression as this 2.5 inch one, but the eyes look a lot, I don't know. These are like full arches. These are a lot more expressive and I like what they did with him. But I like what they did with Shadow too. He's really expressive with his eyes now too. And the mirrored like, not mirrored, but like the clear plastic over the eyes, they both are great. So I, I don't know. I think that these ones, I'm also like the 2.5 inch super characters. I might have to tie because they both get amazing quality from Jax. And this is just the light up figure. I mean, imagine the one that doesn't light up and has the better articulation. So once again, I think that it's going to have to be a tie because they get about the same amount of quality and they both look super expressive and great. Now, finally, last but not least, we have the collector's figures, which I know the Shadow one hasn't released yet, and maybe I'll change my mind, but as of right now, I'm not even planning on getting that figure, because it's the same price as our Sonic here, but as some of you watching a video maybe saw, he doesn't come with, I mean, he comes with, I think, one pair of alternate hands, no alternate eyes, no alternate faces. This guy came with all of that, and he is like the greatest modern Sonic figure of all time. He comes with three different sets of hands, I believe. These open ones, fisted ones. Um, yeah, no, he comes with open ones, fisted ones. He comes with a pointing finger, and he comes with... I think that was it. So, Shadow is about the same in the hands, but that's about it. I mean, 
Um, he comes, at least Shadow, he has the Doom Wings, which look really cool. But even his base, too, it's different from the rest. The base, instead of having the reflective background, like, hold on. Instead of having the base like Sonic here, where it's like it, which I've really grown to these bases, I like them. It's like the perspective changing, like, based on where you're looking at it from thing. Mm -hmm. His doesn't have this background. It's just a bunch of, like, rocks. Like, he just, like, hard impact into the ground, which is still cool. But it's not as cool. Oof. I need to dust that. Wow. That's gross. Um, I'll do that after this video. Ugh. Okay, anyways. So, um, as I was saying, um, <laughs> this, uh like, shadow figure that's coming out just doesn't come with as much as our Sonic figure did. And this is the greatest Sonic figure, I think, of all time. Um, definitely one of the greatest Sonic figures of all time. He's really accurate to the games. He looks amazing. And I'm not sure if I've posted much on my toy photography. I'm pretty sure I did. But I just love taking pictures with him out, like, out and around. He just looks great. But Shadow being constantly stuck in it, like, you could make him happy, snarky with the open, grinning, like, teeth-showing mouth. Or you can have him frowning and sort of, like, angry. You can have him bored. You can have him so many expressions. Shadow will always be angry. And I think that's just sort of, like, I don't know. I don't like that. Because Shadow, while he's angry a lot of the time, he can display other emotions, like, in the comics and stuff. He, has, he can smirk a little bit, you know? And it'd be cool to at least kind of display that. And he definitely, in the, like, animated promo of um, Team Sonic Racing, you know, he's got, like, he's been, like, clearly bored before with, the, like, eyelids half-closed, like, both Sonic, classic Sonic, and even Tails came with. So there's so many facial expression options for Shadow that this Sonic has, like, so many options shadow comes with none of those options that he should have because there's so many options for him just from the games and stuff but he's just stuck to always being angry because it was remote uh, it was released as promotion for sonic x shadow generations or it is being released anyways i don't know if it's out yet and he still just isn't like he still just looks in that game i'm sure he has all these different facial expressions in the animated promo so, I don't know. And I know I'm really only stuck up on the facial expressions. But, honestly, that's not even it. I mean, they changed up the articulation scheme on him, which the articulation is better. So, there's that going for him. Um, but, I feel like the articulation does take away a little bit from the, like, collectors. Like, making it look more like it jumped out of the games to have the segments. Because it's going to be, like, right around here for the ab thing, whatever. Like, the waist joint. Which, you know, who cares? I think that... Because, I mean, it's same with our movie Sonic. Uh, where did he go? Uh, here he is. It's going to be pretty much the same as this. And this doesn't bother me. So, I feel like it's just an inferior, like, collector's figure. The Shadow that's coming out. And I don't know if I plan on getting him. Because $50 for this was already kind of a stretch. And this is, like, one of my favorite Sonic figures of all time. So, $50 for pretty much... Like, for Shadow, that doesn't even come with as much of, uh, as much stuff as this. I don't know, man. Um, all I'm gonna say is, as of right now, unless they redo it, and they give Shadow extra facial expressions and all that, um, Sonic is going to have to win. Plus, when it comes to accessories, Shadow comes with the Doom Wings. Sonic came with a Wisp and a Chaos Emerald. He came with two things. Shadow just came with the Doom Wings, which, you know, massive. So, you know. Either way... Sonic is gonna definitely win. I'm actually I, I feel kind of cheated on Shadow. I'm not very happy about that uh, Announcement after seeing how little he comes with but maybe they'll last minute change stuff I doubt it and I don't know if I'll get the figure if he goes on sale for like half off I'll get it like $25 no brainer, but other than that I'm probably not even gonna buy the figure All right, but that is going to be the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed um, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, but, uh, I have been kind of busy. We are almost to 600 subscribers now, though, which is insane. So, if you could just drop a subscribe for me, if you enjoyed this video, that would be great. It takes two seconds, and you can always undo it if you don't, uh, enjoy my content. So, yeah, once again, thank you all for watching, 
and I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully in my next live stream. I'm going to be playing Sonic X Shadow Generations uh, probably sometime this week, and it will uh, be live streamed to this YouTube channel, so all you gotta do is turn not notifications on and you'll be notified when it starts. And it'll be Shadow's story, because uh, in my last live stream, I beat Sonic's part. So, yeah, we can experience Peak together if you'd like to. And I'm assuming that I will almost even have time to do that tomorrow. So, yeah, if you just want to hop on stream, uh, I will be live. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.